Hi guys, I'm uh, Raja Rao. I'm an evangelist at uh, salesforce.com. In this quick video, I'll show you how to build mobile apps in uh, Visual Force using Ionic and AngularJS frameworks. Okay, let's take a look at the agenda. Uh, as you can see, it's a very packed agenda. Uh, many of you may not be familiar with AngularJS or Ionic, so first I will go over those frameworks. Next, I will take a look at an example Ionic app and give you a quick overview of how Ionic and AngularJS actually work. After that, we'll port the example app to Visual Force page, and then we will uh, change the Ionic app to interact with Salesforce, uh, specifically using uh, a library called Remote TK, which internally uses JS remoting or remote actions. And finally, we'll run it in Salesforce on mobile app. Okay, let's take a look at these uh, frameworks. This is Ionic Frameworks website. And uh, let's see what you can build with Ionix by looking at some of the examples. As you can see, you can build all these really beautiful looking mobile apps using Ionic frameworks. So you may be wondering, how can I do that? So let's take a look at the docs. Uh, let's see if, uh, what it provides. At its core, it provides CSS and JavaScript libraries. Let's take a look at CSS. So if you scroll down, you can see all the different CSS components that it provides. So you, all you need to do is if you just copy paste this guy and then it's going to show up like this in your mobile app. So let's scroll down and see some other nice things that it provides. It's a toggle so you can see this actually looks very much like iOS 7 toggles and range. So as you can see it provides really beautiful looking CSS components out of the box. But CSS is not enough. We also need JavaScript support for data binding and also for navigations within the mobile app. So let's take a look at the JavaScript side of things. It so happens that Ionic actually uses AngularJS extensions to provide JavaScript support instead of using plain JavaScript. So that's where AngularJS comes in. Let's take a look at what we could do with the AngularJS extensions. So first of all, you can see here that it provides all these tabs, navigations. And let's take this another example here. So this shows how the menu slide works. Let's take another example. Here is a navigation and this shows how you could create sub views and go inside one another. So as you can see, it's a really beautiful and powerful framework. But before we go ahead, let's quickly take a look at AngularJS. So AngularJS is the brains, if you will, that actually does all the hard work. So you can see all the videos up here to learn more about Angular. They also provide a bunch of examples right here. So you can play around writing their website. And specifically, I would like to highlight this particular example, wiring up a backend. This shows you how to actually wire up different backends with AngularJS. And we're going to use the same technique to wire up Salesforce for our example. Okay, that's the overview. Let's take a look at an example Ionic app on our local host. 